All right, our next speaker is Max Harris, a software engineer at Laporte Schools. Max has been using Meteor for 18 months since version 065. He has co-authored three production apps for Laporte Schools, built completely in Meteor, including a pickup time coordinator used by parents, a report card system, and a student information system. In the last few weeks, Max has been exploring how to use Meteor as a backend for React, Facebook's JavaScript library for building user interfaces. And he's here tonight to tell us what he's learned. Please welcome Max. OK, so this is about my two weeks with React and Meteor. Um, so I'm going to cover three things tonight. Um, the first is to set a little bit of context about Meteor, Blaze, and React and how they relate. Um, the second is to show you um, parts of um, this login component that are re rebuilt in React. Um, it's basically a little bit pieces of accounts UI um, in Meteor. Um, and then the final thing is some practical stuff about how to render um, a collection, a Meteor collection with React, um, a little bit on testing, and um, a package that I, I have that will make working with Meteor and React a little bit easier. So my goal tonight is to show you how well Meteor and React work with each other, um, not to demonstrate any really particularly profound insight or new thing. Um, and my goal is not to get you to switch to React. Um, I've only been working for this or with, with React for about a couple of weeks, um, so I'm really pretty new to it. OK, so the first thing I'm going to do um, is a quick recap of um, some work that I presented at, uh, in a lightning talk in January um, here, um, just to show the kind of the, the stuff I've been doing. So, so all of this is, is done in Blaze. Um, there's no React code in here, so it's just a bit of context setting. So this is a uh, task manager. Um, our teachers use this to um, edit um, report cards and send each other um, report card editing tasks. Um, so you can open this thing up. And um, so there's, there's a lot of really complicated user interface in here. Um, so there's a lot of things that, that basically work well if you do them as components. Um, so this is a little calendar widget um, that you can set. Um, down here, we have this little date picker, or time picker, sorry. Um, um, we can flip the times, um, so on and so forth. Um, so there's, there's all of these features and really complicated user interface state um, that this thing does. Um, so that's, that's what I've been able to do um, with Blaze. That's kind of an example. Um, so anyway, the current Blaze is built to make reactive templating easier. Um, easy. You know, and th throughout this process, building that application, um, um, I really struggled with it. I stumbled on this hacky pattern that let me do user interface components in Blaze. Um, and so this talk is not about trashing Blaze, um, which is arguably um, more appropriate than React for a lot of applications. So you shouldn't switch away from that. Um, you really shouldn't go and waste your time switching to React just because it's like the current um, buzz thing. Um, so, but for me, if you have this complicated user interface you're trying to build, the React model is really interesting. So notice that this talk is about React and Meteor, not React or Meteor. Um, so Meteor, you guys know this. So Meteor is way, way, way more than reactive HTML rendering. Uh, it's way more than that, than that red box up there in the client, um, way more than Blaze. So I've met a lot of people that have heard of Meteor, um, but they just don't know this. They, they basically think that this is the only thing there, and it's the only important thing about it. And that couldn't be further from the truth. Um, so if you go into Meteor and count lines, Blaze, right, the, the library that does reactive HTML rendering is, is just a little bit more than a tenth of Meteor. So this is just, just by line count. If you cl clone the repo and go in there and, and count things, this is what you get. So, there's quite a lot more to this um, than just the view layer. So, OK, so why React? Um, well, spare the hype. There's uh, a lot of resources out there that'll tell you all about how great React is. Um, I have these two reasons. One, I guess I kind of alluded to, is the complex, huge inter user interfaces that, that I do need components. Um, and templates are almost never what I need. And right now, React is really good at doing these UI components. That'll change in the future, I'm sure. But um, so one of the things that's nice about React is that it's, it's just the view layer. So this is its greatest strength and also its greatest weakness. Um, so making React components that have parent and child relationships and that pass state around um, and, and 
you know, you set state in one component and something that's really near it um, affecting another component is really easy. Um, you really don't need a lot of stuff. You can just use React to do that. Where things get tricky is when you want to manage state with, within a deeply nested arrangement of React components. And so React, its great strength and weakness is that it doesn't attempt to deal with this. Um, the, way, the way Facebook wants you to do this is to use this thing called Flux. So Flux is complicated. Um, just choosing a Flux library is a, is a project in itself. All of these are Flux libraries. <laughs> um, notice the Back to the Future references and all of the names, right? The Flux Capacitor, uh, uh, DeLorean, uh, McFly. <laughs> it's awesome. Um, so I love Back to the Future, but this is a mountain of complexity. Um, so Flux, the Flux philosophy might be good, might be great for a company with billions of users and billions of dollars, right? Um, but if you try building for a billion people before you get to to 10,000, um, you'll just sink. Um, so I don't think it's the right thing to start with. Um, so if you're trying to build something really good really quickly, um, and you don't even know if your idea is any good, <laughs> um, you don't want to get mired in details like flux. Um, uh, so if you're trying to build something that can scale and you don't need a mountain, um, a small army of people to maintain, um, to maintain it and write it, you don't want flux. And this is where Meteor can help. Okay, so I wanted to evaluate uh, React because I'm a meter developer um, to see if it was right for me. And I needed something small to start out with in case this was a you know, bad idea for some reason. So my goal was to replace accounts UI installed and add some features um, with, new, with new React code. So that's what I'm gonna show you now. Okay, flipping to the screen. This is a um, you know, pretty vanilla looking um, login component. Um, but if you go, we added the shake behavior, which is kind of cool. Um, if I type in my name and I just hit the tab, it fills in, it auto fills in this little thing, which I thought was kind of cool. Um, you can go and if you click on that, it'll say, hey, wrong password. Um, you can set a flag in this to make it so that it'll report a custom error message. So if you don't want it to report whether the username and password was wrong for some weird security thing, you could do that. You can, you can set a flag in my package. Um, and it will give you that behavior. Um, so anyway, I'm going to, I think I know my password. Um, I'm going to put it in the wrong one though. Um, and then I'm going to, to bring up the password reset. So this is something that Accounts UI does um, in Meteor. And um, let's go to my terminal. Okay. Uh, so I can enter my email address. And I can click on that and grab up this URL, which I can barely see. Copy that. OK, that's like I clicked on my email to reset the password, right? Um, so this is all redone in React. Um, there's no Blaze making these, making these screens come up. OK, so I'm going to do my password, and I'll do it wrong to show that it checks it. And I got that shaking behavior um, in there. So that works. So I'm going to set my password to ASDF. It's really secure. And uh, OK. OK, and hey, it logged me in, right? It just just uh, exactly what Accounts UI does. Um, so OK, that was, I believe, the, um, the functionality of the package I wrote um, in React. OK, um, so how do you add Meteor React to your project if um, you're really into it and you really want to get going? So Ben Newman wrote and maintains this package. Um, so he worked on React at Facebook um, before he joined Meteor um, here to work as a core developer. Um, so this package hooks up your React components that you'll write, um, imbuing them with the same reactivity that you've come to expect from Meteor in general. Um, another thing I just thought of is uh, you can get Meteor um, Blaze templates and React um, components um, to work together pretty seamlessly um, with this. Um, I don't actually demo it. I'm, I'm showing all of this React code, but you might be interested in that. OK, so anyway, this is a bit of React code. Um, and the stuff here in red are the Meteor-specific parts. Um, so if you look down in the fourth line there where it says Meteor.UserID is not equal to null, um, um, that's this reactive thing, right? This get meteor state um, will, with that little bit in there, it'll hide the whole login component so it doesn't show on the screen when you don't want it to be there. It's um, really, really easy. 
Um, there's not a lot of stuff that you do. Everything in gray is just vanilla React code. Um, and the Meteor specific stuff is really easy to add. Um, so going in, so that's um, at the top level. But if going in the package that I wrote, um, when you click on that reset password link in your email, a new page comes up. And this is code that sets the login component into the reset password mode. Um, and so what I wanted, the reason I put this up here is because I wanted to show you that um, you know, if you work with React, you can go all the way down and you can replace um, the account's UI stuff and you can, you can go and put it in React code in there and it'll work just great. Um, so parts of the system you might not normally get into are, are, are modifiable. You can change them and build your own stuff and it works great. So even great features like the, the awesome account system that Meteor has are things that you can change. Um, they work so well together and it's so easy. So anyway, I, I liked the work that I had done. Um, I liked React so much from my experience with the login component that I decided to keep going. Um, and I can show you this reactive um, um, students collection thing. I didn't anticipate, um, maybe I should, I'm trying to read. Okay, so here, I, uh, you know what? I'll just bring up the terminal. Okay, so let's flip to, uh, let's see, is that George Weasley? Or no, that's Hermione, right. So I can, I can change Hermione to something funny here, right? And I can save it. And um, it updates reactively um, pretty nicely. And um, there's localhost 3000. And uh, let's see if I can do that again. Um, you know, that works just like you'd expect. It's nothing special if you've been using Meteor for a long time. Um, but basically, um, this is all done. This is, a, this, is, this is a React view and a pretty standard, normal vanilla Meteor collection. Um, so now we'll get to some code. Okay, so um, this, this is all of the React specific code that you have to change um, in that React component to get that to work. Um, I won't show you the, the Meteor collection here because there's nothing special about it. It's exactly the same Meteor collection, the same Mongo queries, the same everything, the same publish um, API. All of that stuff is exactly the same. It's just the stuff here in red that you have to change um, to, get, to get React hooked up in that reactive way. Um, so this is really super easy, easy peasy, right? <laughs> um, get meteor state replaces get initial state. So if you're writing React code, you have to write something like that get meteor state function anyway. And the thing you have to add here is, um, is, is a query um, to the mini Mongo on the client, right? Um, and I guess the only other special thing is here, here is you, uh, you do a start meteor subscriptions, um, which associates that with this particular component. So including braces, I only had to touch six lines to get this thing hooked up. Um, so you, really, there's no reason to be afraid of this. OK, um, maybe I should do a little demo of the testing stuff. So um, I, I wrote a few tests for the login component in React. So here it is running in Velocity. Um, it's just Velocity and Jasmine and the built-in test utils that come with React. Um, and it works great. There's it's, it's actually amazing how little um, um, trouble I had with it. Um, so this is, this is an example, um, one of the tests that I wrote. Maybe it's good, maybe it's bad, I don't know. Um, but here it is. Um, I tried to highlight some of the React specific stuff. Um, and I guess um, the little takeaway here is that uh, Instead of um, using jQuery um, to actually interrogate, to, to, to render this thing into the DOM and interrogate that to make sure that it's, it's rendering correctly, um, here we, we, we have a simulated um, React component that doesn't actually get the, to the DOM. And what we're doing here is testing its state, um, which is really easy and really awesome. And it, it kind of gets you away from messing with too much um, user interface code. Um, so I really like that approach, and it was really easy to do. Um, so yeah, mostly what we're doing is we're testing the coordination between those components to make sure the right thing and the right state comes up at the right time on a certain click. Not hard. This is a minor detail if you decide to, to start using React and Meteor together. Um, but in the very latest release um, of, of React, um, class set, which is this thing you would use to flip the class on, on a DOM element, 
um, has been deprecated, so they pulled it out. Um, and so you'll get this warning message um, if you take some code off of the internet and just stuff it um, into your project, um, that it's going away. Um, and so this wouldn't be very interesting, except that if you follow that link, um, the, the package they point to is an NPM package um, by Jed Watson. Um, it's called Class Names. And the trouble with that is if you want to package it up so that you can get it on the client, um, it's a little painful. Um, you can add Jed's package to your project, build it with Browserify, and then put it on the client. Um, or you can just use this package that I made um, and flip that name there, and it'll get you going a little faster to get rid of that warning. Um, so anyway, that's most of my talk. Um, uh, I guess what I'd like to close with is that this has been really smooth sailing for me. Um, so in only two weeks, I've basically learned how to, to, to work with React. Um, I did a custom accounts component. I figured out how to do testing with it. Um, and I even did, you know, in an hour, I did this data-driven stuff with really no problem at all. Um, and that's thanks to a lot of really great um, demos and resources that are out there. Um, so at last month's dev shop, um, Yuri showed us that Angular and Meteor um, you know, really work together. And hopefully I've showed you that React and Meteor work really well together also. Um, so Meteor makes this amazing back end um, for any modern reactive front end um, out there, whether that front end is React or Angular or Blaze or anything else that, that might be coming. I think it's the best way to go. Um, so anyway, uh, I guess the last thing I'd like to say if you're, is if, if you're new to React, Meteor is the best way for you to get started with it. Um, it. It's so much easier than messing around with Flux. I spent three and a half hours last week um, working on a Flux project with React. Um, actually, it was in Reflux, but um, it was horrible. It's absolutely horrible. Um, so I, absolutely, I definitely encourage everybody to get on um, and try this out if they're interested. Any questions? Uh -huh. that um, is attempting to, as you described, like the, when you have a lot of events and nested state, it can be very complex. And yeah. that's one approach to us. I was wondering if you uh, looked at that package. No, I haven't. I wish I did. It would be awesome to be able to. Um, yes, yeah, so Arnauta made this package, uh, Meteor Flow Components, I think it's called. Meteor and Hacks. Meteor, Hacks. Meteor Hacks, yeah, and Flow Components. And um, yeah, that's probably really cool. Um, yeah, but I, I just haven't, I haven't done anything with it. Blaze or React, one or the other? Oh, I'm glad you asked that. Yeah, so it, the question is, is it Blaze or React? Um, and the answer is no. You can actually mix and match these um, with, with absolutely no problem. Um, I really wish I demoed that. That would have been really smart. <laughs> but on the same page? On the same page, yeah. You can go and put up a div um, and, and instance. I, I have done it in the past. Um, it's really not hard. Um, yeah, so you'll have absolutely no problems. Yeah, actually, that's, that's a really good point. Yep. We have some questions from online. So Dan Daskalescu is asking, what drove the choice of React versus Polymer or native web components? Oh, hi, Dan. Uh, <laughs> well, React is here right now. You don't have polyfills. Um, you, you know, I don't want to get into a bunch of um, philosophical stuff about, about web components and whether that's a good idea. Um, I don't want to trash it. I'm sure it's great. Um, but but React is really good um, at what it does. And um, it's the easiest thing. It's, it's the quickest way to get, to get components um, like this in, into, your, into your project. And uh, yeah, so I don't want to, like, otherwise, if I, keep, if I keep answering that question, I'll be a spokesperson for React, and we don't need that. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, we have a question from the room. Can we take the best of React components to make them Yeah, actually, okay, so that's actually, I, am, I, I don't want to flip the slide away, my advertising here for my packages and stuff, but um, <laughs> it's really easy. If, so if you, if you want to, um, actually, here, this is what you need to do. Repeat the question. Yeah, so the question is, can you package up a, a, something you've written in React so it doesn't infect the rest of your Meteor project, right? Um, if you don't want it mixed up in there, can you take a React package? Um, so absolutely, you can. Um, so that React.js um, React package, so you would add that to your package.js file, um, um, the API.use, right? Um, and that'll pull it down. Um, 
And you, it basically registers um, the, the JSX um, uh, compiler thing, right? Um, into that, so it'll go and take your JSX files. You, you, can, you, can, you can basically include JSX files into your package um, and just write your stuff like you would and um, expose it. Um, hell, you could probably re, um, wrap it in a, in a Blaze template if you wanted to make it really easy, and uh, that would work just fine. Yeah, this may be a related question, but uh, from Twitter we have, can you use JSX in your Meteor React components? Oh yes, that's exactly the same question, yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, here, to prove it, I'll put my advertising away, and I'll show my package JS file. Where did that go? I tried not to show too much code in my, uh, oh, I closed Sublime. Here, let me bring it up. Okay, let's flip. Yeah, so here, here. Um, you can definitely do that. Uh, let me. Um, so here, see, the, see, so you have your JSX files. You can just stuff them right in there. Um, you include, um, so you api.use react.js react, um, and you're good to go. Um, and so you can go and basically export your, your um, these are all React classes that we've created, that I've created. Um, so that's, it's really straightforward. Um, next, um, do we have any more? Uh, any more questions from, okay, from over here. <coughs> Yeah, I'm really excited about it. Um, um, I, I, I haven't used it, it came out today, um, so I think that's really cool. Um, maybe I'll come back at DevShop and talk about how well that's going after I get some time on it. Um, I really like that idea about, about writing, learning something once and then writing platform-specific code for, for each thing. I really hate this idea of, of writing user interface code that's supposed to be good on a bunch of platforms. Um, so I'm really excited about that approach. I think it's great. Yeah. Can you repeat the question? Oh, um, the question, well, I just answered it. I should be able to repeat it. Um, <laughs> what do you think of React Native? Yeah, what do you think <laughs> of React Native? That's what I think of React Native. I think it's, it's, it's pretty awesome. Um, yeah. What, not, not having used it, I have no idea if it's actually awesome. I saw the, the video in January they did. Um, looks good and promising. Any other more questions from the room? Yeah. Yeah. There's about six different React packages. Can you say why you chose what you chose to work on? Oh, six different, what, what do you mean? Uh, uh, Oh, that, that enables the, 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 some of the functionality? Yeah. Um, yeah, so let's, let me flip back. Where did I put that? I have an answer. Yeah, so, so this slide, so, so this is, so Ben um, works here at Meteor, um, and this is, and, and he worked on React at Facebook, and so I, I don't know if it's a really official thing that everybody should use, but, but uh, yeah, I think, I think that this is, I, I actually didn't know that there are other packages that do it. So I would assume this is the best one. Um, probably is, trust me. Uh, and we have one more question from the internet. Did React performance come into your decision to use React? Uh, no, um, performance wasn't an issue either way. Um, Blaze is really awesome, um, you know, with performance. Um, so, yeah, um, yeah, the perf isn't really an issue. I mean, there's, there's, there's things that you can turn on to, to t tell you about performance with React. Um, but, yeah, it's not a performance thing. Um, it's an API thing. Any more questions? All right, thanks so much, Max. Awesome. Thanks.